Well, St. Paul believes in Cain. They said can't him? Cain them. They can They literally beat the shit out of <laughs> stretch clinic that helps you move the body and the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. To my immediate left, we have Sarah Tor Sarah, in case you... Are you here? Uh oh <laughs> Yes. Sarah, welcome back to the show. It, I back have to space. say thank you. <laughs> back to Earth. Sarah, back to Earth. It's... I have to Thank you so much for bringing your two little ones in the last two episodes. They were hilarious. They were amazing. They had so much energy. I think it was wonderful to see them get all their positive energy out on the mat. So it was really wonderful to have them. Thank but you. today, I'd like to ask us to know a little more about you as well. well as Sarah, the author. Yes. Um, well, she is a... Speak... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking about something else. But, um, you know, sometimes when somebody's pointing something right out to you, you do the exact <laughs> opposite. I was just witnessing that afar. But um, as far as my writing and my career goes, um, I'm still in the same process. I'm waiting to hear back from my lawyer. Right. Um, as far as my something for everyone, I'm it's still in the editing phases. Okay. Sometimes I harass the editor, like, are you not done with that? I'm sure there are longer books that you could be editing. <laughs> like, it should take that. She had it from the spring, but you know, she did let me know that it would take uh, a process because- Something for Everyone is a collection of short stories. Short okay. stories and poems. And poems. And, um, Affairs, Lessons, and Affairs, a novel. It's a novel. It's um, the first in a series of three. Right. And um, that one, nope will more than likely come out January-ish. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward January -ish. to January-ish. Um, something for everyone. I want that to be out at the, the end of December, which is why I'm harassing the lady. <laughs> I'll be harassing her. Not in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> no, in a nice way. Like, hey, you know, it's me, and I'm calling and why. <laughs> what was your inspiration? Tell me uh, stories for the short stories, for example. Do you think some of the stories you're have inspired you to write those stories? You know, the funny thing is, I haven't wrote yet, like, about little people or anything that right. have them in it. Uh, most of the, the, the stories in Something for Everyone, they they range, um, I think the youngest character is about 17. It doesn't have to be about children. Did they inspire you to write it because you thought of something while you were watching over Oh, them? no, like, the dream. Okay. Yeah, and, um... When the dream is about um, this this couple, they they actually were on their honeymoon, and then this terrorist attack comes, and then like the lady in the story, she's the one who has all of this know-how to to survive right. without realizing that you know she's been doing stuff her life like she's a case manager, so there's certain first aid things that she knows. There, then she she also um, will partake in uh, terrorist training because you know there's with all the terrorism going on there's all Ooh, these terrorist did training. Did you do a lot of research? Did you get all that? I actually um, I I did case management. That's the okay. type of employment that I, I go for, and if I'm not acting, and um, you know you do learn first aid and CPR. Right. So I'm trained. My license I don't I don't I might have a couple more months on my CPR license. Good. But um, you learn all of that in case management and they also at times will give you like a small terrorist drill for the terrorist training though i did do a little bit more extra homework right i just wanted to make sure you know i wanted the, the field to be realistic right 
So um, that's one, uh, and that actually started a dream. Like I was, <laughs> I was dreaming. I was looking out in up the hallway. It was a hotel room. It was not my room. I don't know where I was. It was a window in the bathroom. That's like a hotel. Wow. And I was running around frantic. And when I woke up, I had this this great story. Okay, you don't want to tell us everything because yeah. you want to keep something up your sleeve. But that sounds so exciting, well. and I especially love the fact that you had to do a lot of research for that. So that must be even yes. that's the fun part. Yeah, like exactly. I, I have another story. Uh, I think it's called the, the Science Behind Sue. It's about robotics. You know, somebody's in, in the field building robots, and I don't know if anybody really like checks out the newscasting, and um, they're always talking about how advanced they are in China and, and Japan. And, and, and having robots look like humans. Like wow. there's actually a woman robot, and she she's she looks like a, um, a Oriental woman. She's very pretty, and uh, she walks stiff. But they're trying to give her traits. Right. But she looks like a person. If it wasn't for that, you would be like, oh look at that walking over there, all stiff. <laughs> very human. Well, like, that's scary. Yeah, it is frightening, and, yeah. and my story kind of touches on, on that. Um, it doesn't get aggressive. Like anything, like uh, I robot. Right? Well, we're looking forward to that. Let us know when it's out, oh. or are you ready to give a few excerpts and what have I'm you supposed to get. Um, I think I'll get like four, four like sample or well, four books for me. Okay, that's good. when it when it's published, and then anything after that, I think I'm supposed to. I have a few. Get a copy. Yes, you are gonna get. Thank a copy. you. Sign it. Looking forward Maybe to Maybe I'll let them draw a picture. Welcome back to the show, Sarah. <laughs> Talisa, Michela, welcome back to the show to you too. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for allowing me to be here, Banu. Pleasure. Um, I have nothing to say. I'm just waiting. You're waiting for little Buddha. I'm waiting for my little Buddha to come on to the ways. And, um... I love the way she's given him a name already. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do this. We had your little ones come on the show yesterday and the day before so we did sun salutation we did chest openers today i was thinking we could focus on knee benders which is good as you may gain weight as well there's a lot of weight on the knees too i think it'll help strengthen our knees and it's not just you oh, we are gaining weight all the time as like, we age you know, so that sounded like a shot <laughs> you no you shot? have you have to take care of two people now so once the little one is out then you don't have to worry but right now i think you have to take care of your knees too right for me i have to take care of my knees as i age as we age for us the synovial fluid starts drying up so i'll do a little bit of bending and unbending of the knees now before we do that i'd like to thank our director today Josiane Hurd. Uh, and uh, on camera, we have Anne-Marie Arthur. Thank you so much, Josiane and Anne-Marie, for helping make this episode happen. Thanks to Kristen Kofa for the lights and the studio setups and the sound system. Between Talisa, Sarah, and myself, we are going to take you through maybe 10 to 12 knee benders. And while we're doing that, just keep in mind that as you bend and unbend your knees, you're sending positive energy to that part of the body that needs it most. Now the knee benders in themselves, if they hurt at the time that you're stretching, you wanna be sure that you ease off a little bit. So let's first start off. Let's, as we get in and out of the postures, we will share a few tips every now and then. We're gonna stand up. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 Eastern Time. Place your palms together, heels together, elbows are raised, toes are slightly apart. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna inhale, bring our arms out in front of us. So inhale, bring your arms out, separate your palms. Keep your palms at shoulder width. Now, very gently, take your heels out to the side. Make sure that the insides of your feet are parallel to each other. Exhale, bend at the knees. Pops and crackles are perfectly okay. They're just air pockets. <laughs> Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, and release. Some of today's knee benders may be a bit of a repeat from yesterday because yesterday we had chest openers, which also involved bending of the knees. Let's turn to face the front right left side of the mat bring your legs out about three feet apart put your brakes on first you want to make sure your feet are nice and secure once your feet are nice and firm if you're tall you want to bring your feet further out that's fine bring your right foot out we're facing Anne Marie's camera so we're going to turn to look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand your upper body needs to face the side of the mat 
Turn to look right. Now exhale, bend at the knees. Keep exhaling. Dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take the left arm all the way up. And then just for the challenge, let's take our left arm all the way overhead. Palm faces down. Look at the tip of your fingers on the left hand. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your right knee, turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. Look at the tip of your fingers on the left hand. Exhale, bend at the knee, the left knee bends. Keep exhaling, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle, take the right hand all the way up. Now, challenge yourself, take your right arm all the way overhead. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your left knee, turn your left foot in, exhale and release. Wiggle your feet a little closer and let's turn to face the front of the mat. Now we don't have the little ones here today so we're going to attempt two knee benders which we did do yesterday as well because they also helped open up the chest but the tree posture is a balanced position so today we're going to try and stay focused, look at the cones in front of us. Place your right hand Absolutely. Take, place your right hand on your right hip. Transfer your weight to your right leg. Take your left hand from behind. Hold on to your left ankle. Oh, actually, we're getting into Nutraj. Okay, but after that, we'll do the tree. This is a dancer's pose. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip your torso. Lift your left knee. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, and release. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Place your left hand on your left hip. Hold on to your right ankle from behind with the right hand. Once you've made that connection, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your right knee. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. Keep your weight on your left leg this time. Place your left hand on your left hip. Lift your right heel off of the floor, turn your right knee out to the side. Inhale, lift your right foot up, hold on to the right ankle with the right hand. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. Once you're there, place your palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. And once you're there, open up your palms and hold. Look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale, place your palms together. Exhale and release. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Place your right hand on your right hip. Turn your left knee out to the side. Raise your left heel. Inhale, lift your left foot up. Hold on to the left ankle with the left hand. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Once you're up there, place your palms together, raise your elbows, and keep inhaling. Raise your arms all the way overhead. And then very gently open up your palms, look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale, place your palms together, exhale, and release. Tree posture of bridge. Let's release that. One more knee bender, which is also a balance. Garudasan, Garuda is eagle. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Cross your right knee over the left. Wrap your right foot around your left calf or your left ankle. And once your foot is nice and secure, it doesn't have to go all the way. If it does, that's great. Bend your left knee. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over your right. Cross your palms. Twine your arms together, cross your palms over. Inhale, let's release. Very gently release the right leg. Untangle your arms and let's switch sides. Transfer your weight to the right leg, Garuda or Eagle. Now I'm gonna just keep my right hand on my right hip for the moment. Cross your left knee over the right calf or ankle. Now left knee over the right knee, I'm sorry. Wrap your left knee over the right. We finished the right side. Oh, you did the other side, did you? We, we've done this side. <laughs> you may have done the other side first. That's okay. Whatever side you've already done, you want to cross the other side. <laughs> it doesn't matter which side we start with. Just to stay together, we may have, each person may have started on the other side. That's okay. 
Well, I did the other side first. So cross your left knee over the right. Wrap your left foot around your right Does ankle. Okay, edit it out. It must be real funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. We're just oh, having fun. DVD, like, oh, right. Left knee is up. <laughs> Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. We don't edit, Sarah. That's the thing. <laughs> Even better. Then place your left elbow over your right. Cross your palms together. Hold on. Bend your right knee and hold. Inhale. Straighten your left, left and right knee. Come up. Release your left leg. Untangle your arms. You talked about editing. Our viewers also need to know we don't. We err as is, mistakes and all. So if we make a mistake, that's fine. We just learn to laugh it up. We learn to forgive ourselves. That's what yoga is all about. One more knee bender while we're still in standing position. Bring your right foot out in front of you. Take your left foot back. Bend both your knees. Place the left knee on the floor. And then uncurl your toes in the left foot. Wiggle your right foot forward. Exhale and dip. Let's take this one step further so we hold this a little longer. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right. Make any adaptations you need to. Place your right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. This does involve a little bit of balance as well, so if you fall out, get right back in. Inhale, release, and let's switch legs. Place your palms beside your right foot. Take the right knee back. Bring the left foot forward. Uncurl your toes on the right foot. Wiggle your left foot forward a little more. Exhale and dip. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Very gently, let's come on all fours first and let's sit on our heels. Come into a position called rat, a rabbit position. Rat, we haven't yet got rat in yoga yet, but this is a rabbit position. Let's sit on our heels. If you need to, if you're very new to yoga or you are in a situation where you need to bring your knees out a little bit, you might want to bring your knees out just to feel a little more comfortable. You can bring your knees out. If you want to challenge yourself even more today, you can bring your knees close. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together, exhale, fold from the hip. Try to place your forehead on the floor before you reach your palms on the floor. Once you've made that connection, place your palms nice and flat. Make sure your elbows are raised. Your arm is nice and straight. Engage your low back muscles. Place your palms together, inhale, and let's come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. <clears throat> the cow face is another posture that is amazingly effective for bending and unbending of the knees. So let's go straight into that. Tuck your left heel under your right buttock. Cross your right foot over. That's it. And uh, this is cow face. So this um, yeah, we haven't done that posture today, the Ardha and the one oh, yeah, you were going to do else. that. Let's do the cow face today because I think we have probably seven minutes more. And if we have time, we'll, we'll try and cover a little more ground. A lot of these postures were done yesterday because they also helped open up the chest. Make sure the soles of both your feet face the back of the room. Right knee is over the left. So right knee is up, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow behind your back. Take your right hand from behind, hold on to the opposite fingers. Once you've made that connection, lift your chin up, open up your chest and hold. Inhale, release the arms and let's switch legs. Let's untangle our legs first. Tuck the right heel under the left buttock, cross the left foot over the right knee. Now the way this posture got its name, I'm told when the knees align themselves, the way you've got it aligned, the way Talisa has it nicely aligned, both of you, it's supposed to look like the mouth of a cow. Can you see yourself on the monitor right there? Yes. Do you see a cow instead of your knees? No. <laughs> now you want to make sure I've the I've been trying soles to figure this one out. Well actually these, apparently this is the upper jaw and the lower jaw of the cow's you face. Said that. I was looking at pictures of cows. <laughs> and I've never really images seen images of cows. And you're looking at them. You got to know what they look like, right? 
Moo. It's just use your imagination. It's actually the square part of your knees. So in this, the, the part of the knees that are square, is like that's the part of the face. I right? yeah. have another interpretation, right? Say that again. It's the the, the squareness of the mouth, the mouth itself. itself. Right. It's supposed to be the knees. <laughs> Manais, do you want to join us on the mat? All right. Then you want to get off of the camera range. <laughs> All right, both, <laughs> the soles of both your feet. If you want to join us on the mat, come and feel free. You can join up. They want a muffin. Go get a muffin. Go ahead, go ahead, help yourself. <laughs> soles of both your feet are facing the back of the room. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right hand behind your back. Take your left hand from behind. Sarah's two little ones, Anais and... Um, Naomi are here today to keep us company, but they don't want to join us here on the mat yet. Now, once you've made the connection with your opposite fingers, you want to take your elbow up, right elbow all the way up, look up, open up your chest, chin up, and hold. <laughs> Inhale, release the arms first, and let's swing our left leg all the way to the back, pigeon posture. Now, Curl your toes in on the left leg. Push your left knee out to the back, as far back as you can go so your pelvis comes close to the floor. And once you're all the way down, you want to inhale and then keep your back nice and straight. Exhale, fold from the hip. Inhale, let's come up. Let's swing our left leg forward. Take the right leg all the way to the back directly into Mahamudra. Right leg goes all the way out. Curl your toes in first to push your right knee out to the back and then uncurl your toes. And then once you're nice and firm, nice and secure on the mat, exhale, fold from the hip. Inhale, let's come up. Bring your right leg in and we're gonna sit on our heels. So bring both your knees close together. Sit on your heels, take your hands from behind. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Now if you wish, you can take this a little further. This is about knee bending, today's episode. But if you want to challenge yourself with the arms, you can place them in reverse namaste. Actually, do you want to turn around, Sarah? Okay, you can place it in reverse namaste, right where, you, where Sarah has it, right against the spine behind her back. Now, exhale, fold from the hip. You don't have to fold over because you already have your knee bender right here. This is just to give a little bit of extra stretch to your abductor muscles, the outside of your thighs. Inhale, engage your low back muscles. Let's come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Another amazingly effective knee bender is Baddha Kona or Kabla Pasha. Let's bring the soles of both our feet together. <clears throat> Attach both the soles together and then clasp both your feet with your hands. Once you've made that connection, push your knees down. So press your knees all the way down and then open up your chest. Take your shoulders back. Exhale, fold from the hip. Now if you need to make room for your upper body as I do when you go down, you can bring your knees, your elbows out to the side, pressing your knees further down. Inhale, press your feet together, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale, let's come up on our haunches in Malasan. Mala is garland. Bring your knees. This is also a wonderful pelvic opener. Your heels are close, close together. Your toes are out to the side. Your knees are splayed to the side. Place your palms in front of you. Now, palms are nice and firm. Push your elbow. Push your knees out with your elbows. It's so open easy. Up. I can't have it. It's too easy. <laughs> it's, it's so simple. It's complicated for me. No, <laughs> no. Actually, you can make. You can challenge yourself if you find it too easy. You want to bring your feet closer. No, I'm saying I'm having difficulty. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Like it, it looks seems, easy. It looks so it looks simple, easy. and I can't find oh, my balance. Okay, then How you know How are your what? feet so flat? <laughs> no, then you want to bring your feet further out. If you find that it's it's a bit difficult. Even though it looks easy, you can bring your heels further out. The closer you are, the closer your heels are, 
the more of a challenge it becomes for oh, you. Okay. And that's when the balance becomes even harder. So make any adaptations you need to. Your knees are out, push your knees out with your elbows and then press with your palms, look up. Exhale, let's release. Let's come in prone position. Talisa, I'd like you to go on your side. We're gonna do hold on to our ankles. So you could try holding your ankles one side at a time. And Sarah and I will go in prone position. We just want to get some knee bending stretches. So you want your head here. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is hold on to the right ankle with the right hand. Left ankle for you, Sarah, is just one leg at a time. We're gonna hold on to both the ankles with, the, with, with our hands. And once you've made that connection, first of all, challenge yourself, bring your knees a little closer. Chin is to the floor. Inhale, engage your low back muscles. Inhale, lift your chin, chest, and your knees off of the floor. If you find at times that one foot seems to go a little higher than the other, that's just an imbalance in the body. Acknowledge that and just try to be aware of it. Exhale and release. We'll do that one more time so Talisa has a chance to stretch the other knee. That's all right. Knees to the ground. Let's try that one more time. This time we're gonna bring our knees out to the side and see how much higher we can go. When the knees are out, it gets a little easier. Engage your low back muscles. Inhale, lift your knees off of the floor. Lift your knees, chin and chest. Inhale and lift. Hold it. Exhale and release. Let's all come in supine position. So we're gonna come on our back. Sarah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're too comfortable today. Let's come on our back with our heads to the camera. I'm gonna take my clip off. We're gonna come in a position called Happy Baby. That's a wonderful knee bender. It's also a great pelvic opener. <clears throat> Bring your heels close to you and then we're gonna lift our knees up. So lift your feet up and your knees in. Take your hands from the inside, press the soles of your feet, and take your foot, knees down to the side. So you want, no, that's all right, I'll go down if you want to start. That's it, good. This is called Happy Baby. Actually. We were close. We didn't <laughs> actually, it does feel good. Give ourselves a little sacral massage, actually. Let's move from side to side. Actually, Naomi and Ace would have loved this. <laughs> They'd have loved it. They have been rolling into everybody. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to do two more knee benders while we're still in supine position. Place your heels close to your buttocks. So your, heels are, your feet are on the floor. Heels are close to your buttocks. We're going to take ourselves into a position called Setu Bandha or bridge. Inhale, lift your buttocks off of the floor and support your buttocks with your hands. If you're very comfortable and you have very strong back muscles, you don't need to hold your buttocks, that's fine. I know I do, so I'm gonna use my hands under my buttocks. Inhale and lift. Take your shoulders beneath. Take your, bring your elbows close to you, to each other, and then hold it. Now, if, you, if you're not using your hands to hold your buttocks up, Sarah, that's good, beautiful. You can do it for folks at home who are stretching with us. If you're not using your hands to hold your buttocks up, you can try hold on to your ankles. Exhale and release. See, that just came naturally. <laughs> I was like, we got to make contact. <laughs> <laughs> Extend your left leg out. No, no, we, we still have time for no problem. <laughs> Extend your left leg out in front of you. Bend the right leg at the knee. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand. While we are in this position, I'd like to thank our director, Josie and Hurd. On camera, we have Anne-Marie Offa and Kristen Kofa, our facilitator for today. Thank you so much. On behalf of Sarah Torres, Talisa Michella, this is Banu Suresh signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Push your right knee over to the left. Turn the upper body to look right. Very gently inhale, extend the right leg out. Bring the left knee in. Place your right hand on your left knee, exhale, push the left knee over to the right.